Hello everybody, Fatal here with Jess. We're from uh, we're from beautiful Fresno, California tonight for this battle. And we got Damian Priest coming out to the ring. I guess he's going against Finn Balor's mystery man. Oh boy, look and speak of which, yeah. Look who look who yeah, you know what? Look who's coming down the ringside here. Uh I mean look who's coming over here at the announcing table. It is uh Finn Balor. Nice evening to you, Fatal. Yeah, nice evening to you too. What do you have planned for your former friend in the darkness? You'll find out, sweetie. Believe me, you'll find out. You know? Damien Priest is an ungrateful son of a gun. I'll tell you that much right now. I've seen how much him and Dan Housen were being buddy-buddy. You know? Yeah, I had to clean up the darkness for sure. I told Kevin Sullivan I was going to clean up the darkness. Oh my gosh, is that who this is all about, Kevin Sullivan? Hey, Kevin Sullivan's a great mind. You get that correct now, okay? That's the reason why I'm going to show Damian Priest a lesson. I dump PCO, and I got some new people that's going to help me uh, carry on that destruction. You understand? Here they come now. They... Oh my gosh, it's the end. Ozen and Pearl. Yeah, two of the biggest, baddest fruits in the world. And you know how, you, you know how funny a little bit of money will make anybody do anything. And these two are going to be right now going to put, down, put Damian Priest down. Forget, forget this being a regular match. They are here to cripple Damian Priest. They are here to destroy Damian Priest, the so-called... Archer of Infamy. You better get that right. Because you know what? That's going to happen. These two brutes, these two warriors, are going to slaughter the heck out of poor Damien. Get them, boys. Get them. Oh, boy. Oh, no. This is not going to be good. And Damien's... Damien's only by himself right now. Good God almighty. Oh, and Peril going to work on Priest then. Oh, boy. Oh, nasty powerbomb. Oh, man, look at uh, Priest escaping. It's only a short time we, uh, until Damien Priest falls to the force of the end. Until he meets his end. Yeah, get that. Ah, oh, it's Marcus Cass. Oh my gosh. Well, how you doing there, huh? Finn, don't, 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 don't be aggravating to him. Ah, you know what? I, I just like picking on these so-called heroes. How you doing tonight, Marcus? It's Fatal here with Finn Bauer. As Finn Bauer's busy just. Barking down my ear about what the end is going to do to Damien Priest. Oh, and there goes Priest over the top. There you go. I hope he, uh, bro I hope he broke his knee or something. And I'll tell you what, look at Peril, man. This guy's a beast. Oh, nice. Yeah, I saw the glitter, man, for the fifth, for the second time having you. Oh, man. Yeah, that's right, I call him Glitter Man. Worst vampire ever, I heard they said. He, it took him 14 years to turn into a bat. Oh my gosh, I heard that joke before on Facebook. Well, good, I'm glad at least you pay attention, attention there. Yeah, 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 pay attention there, Patel. Man, at least you, you, are, uh, you are a journalist. Now, watch what my men do to uh, Mr. Priest here. Oh, jeez. This is not good. Oh, but Priest escapes and nails Odinson in the knee. Yeah, I'm here, uh, Cass. Watch, watch a masterpiece as you watch Odinson and Peril destroy Damien Priest, my former friend. Oh, jeez. This is not good. Oh, look at Odinson. Oh, what power. Love it. 
Love it. You know, while Kevin Sullivan's going to do some destruction in MSW, I promise him I'll do some destruction here in WCW. You mark my words. Well, Fatal, you're not that bad of a person either. I heard that, uh, congratulations to your girls on Wednesday night, huh? Yeah, Angie and Asia won the, uh, tag team toast from, uh, what seemed to be an unbeatable team. Yeah, I am the Prince of Rock and Roller. You better believe it. I've been having a priest ever since at Stanford. You know the little the little the little jerk the size of power bomb me. He couldn't take it that I was a better athlete. I'll tell you that much right now. Kill him boys, come on. Kill him. Ah. I can't believe this match is going on. You just want you just be careful, lady. You watch. You just watch what these two do. Oh, look at that pair with a beautiful neck grab and toss. She took his skull right off his body. Ah, pounce! I love it. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. This is unbelievable. Believe it, late. Believe it, Fatal. You know what? Don't be surprised we send Damian Priest out of here, too. Ungrateful piece of crap. Tell him pop, boys. Tell him pop. There you go, Odinson. Yeah. Nice size 12. Nice size 13 right in that gut of uh, Priest. Now, oh, look at that. What is Pearl going to do to poor Damien now? Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, my gosh. Referee called a bell. I think he killed him. Oh, my gosh. Cannot believe you're enjoying this. You're damn right, Fatal. I'm enjoying this. I am bloody into enjoying this. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, man, look at that. The end just murdered poor Damien. Now get out of town, Damien, before worse comes on to you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is just horrible. No, it isn't. It's brilliant. I'll tell you that much right now. It is brilliant. Oh, look at that, man. That was the beginning of the end for Mr. Oh, and here we go. <laughs> oh, man. You go ahead and boom all you want, fans. They don't give a care. They don't give, you know, they don't give a, you know, what rhymes with duck. Oh, boy. And there are your winners, the end. In an unfair matchup. Oh, man. You know what, Fatal? I'll talk to you later. Man, I'll tell you what. You are, you are something else, Fatal. Just get away, Finn, okay, please? Yeah, unfortunately, he was the man that started a Bullet Club and all. Oh, boy. Speaking of which, we get... Grace by his presence. Oh boy. As Finn Bauer is going to the ring right now.
Hello, you ungrateful fans of WCW. I'll tell you what right now. You're watching a real stink pit here, aren't you? I'll tell you what right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain something to you. Yeah, you see my two new guys in the darkness, Odinson and Impero. They end destroy my former friend, Damian Priest. Oh, my gosh. That was enjoyable. I mean... It's got a smile on my face like the Cheshire Cat from freaking Alex in Wonderland. Yes. Oh, my gosh. And I'll tell you what. Anybody gets in the way of these two, I'm not, you know what, I'm not going to be sorry, feeling sorry for them. They should have stayed out of their way. They should have had a brain in their head and stay out of their freaking way. Let me say something right now. I do not want to be noticed at Finn Balor anymore. I am, I am Prince Devet. I am the demon that's running business here for Kevin Sullivan. And you know what? I told Sullivan that we will divide and conquer. I told him you take care of business in MSW, and I'll have no problem taking care of business in WCW. I'll tell you what right now. Now I'm going to send a message to Damian Priest. But I'm going to send a message to every freaking so-called tag team in the back, including those chump champions, Matt Taven and Mike Bennett. The, the OG K to call himself? Baloney. I'm the, we're, I, I'm the one that started the OG K. The original kingdom. And that kingdom was the Bullet Club. And you know what? I'm going to be bringing more people to help me out with that. I guarantee you right now. I have put in a call to a few of my fellow friends. And believe me, it's going to be very bad for you. It's going to be very bad for the competition over here. Even Damien, if he doesn't uh, learn his lesson. Good night, leeches. Oh, my gosh. That was garbage right there. Oh, how disruptive. And, and uh, DeVette is telling uh, everybody that he's number one and nobody else isn't. Oh, my gosh. Did I miss anything, uh, Fatal? Oh, thank goodness, Tony. I, I didn't want uh, I didn't want DeVette coming back over here and sitting over here. I heard his whole spiel. It's like, oh, my gosh. What is going on? Well, coming up next, we got a matchup for the women's tag team title. And it involves my girls, Fatal, I mean, my girls, Asia and Angie. If you don't know, they have won the uh, MSW Tag Team titles the other night. And they're looking to make history by becoming the first women's tag team to hold MSW and WCW at the same time. Well, that you know what? They're in very good shape. I mean, you know, if you advise them in MSW, I bet you got a lot to tell them. No doubt about it, I'll tell you that much right now. That was a well-run victory. I was so happy when Angie and Asia won those belts. What else we got on the show tonight? We got an eight-man battle royal to set a future world title contender in uh, going against Tom Lawler. I guess one of the guys that are going to be in it, and Marcus, Marcus will be happy with this. Clark Connors. Clark Connors, wow. But he's going to have some stiff competition, I got a feeling. And then we get an eight-woman battle royal to decide. Uh, it's just a status thing. It, it, it's all depend where you're at. You can either win a world title shot or a television title shot. Because later on today, we've got Tina Pams going against Quinn McKay for the WCW women's title. Oh, wow. And then we got a rematch between Silas Young and Christopher. And then the main event tonight, Tom Lawler and J.R. Kratos, Team Filthy, are going to take on Johnny Winter. And, yeah, he called on some help, L.A. Knight. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. You may talk about Malcolm later on. Okay, cool. I know you didn't get a chance to do it because of that great outage they had there in uh, Sun... So, was it? Uh, I think if I heard correctly, Sunrise. Yeah, Sunrise and Wars, it's more like Sunset. Oh, you better believe it. I, you know what? Hey, I felt bad for him when that happened.
And I'll tell you what, right now we got this great tornado tag match. One of the three women's matches tonight. I'll tell you what, I mean, this is going to be interesting. Right now, I am so proud of these girls. I mean, I swear. Asia and Angie, they got an opportunity to rewrite history by becoming women's tag team champions in both of the federations. That would be interesting if they do that. Any other plans after that? They weren't thinking about giving out a challenge to Carmella and Zelina Vega. And they weren't thinking about giving out a challenge to uh, to Neil and uh, Madison. Wow. Wow, first shout out goes to the head of security, Rick, uh, Mr. Moss. Okay, nice. Wow. I gotta admit, he's been pretty good at his job. I mean, uh, he kept he kept that crowd control to a volume when, uh, I guess when, uh, I guess the unfortunate moment happened Sunday night. I know how much Perch loves me like a hole in the head. No doubt about it. Yeah, I know. He wasn't really, he's not really too thrilled with you every time you come over there. Well, too bad. And second, wow, Jay has, uh, you know what, she has done a decent job, but I just didn't like the way she uh, demoted Chris Bat. Yeah, that's the thing about it. That's my only gripe I have with that. Well, of course, Chris Bat, you and Chris Bat were, uh, yeah, we were uh, husband and wife one time. We had, we had a beautiful bouncing baby girl by the name of uh, Maya Bat. You might have seen her last time, uh, she was going out with Brody Williams, but that is not happening anymore because of his change of attitude. Oh, no doubt about it. Yeah. But there is Angie and Asia right there. And this is going to be interesting because this is a rematch, but this time tornado tag rules between these two veteran tag, tag teams. You got uh, Olivia Mercado and Marissa Salt, the Silver Spoon Saviors, the champions. I'm, you know what? I'm so glad that you and Tasha got along really good. I'm actually surprised about that. Tasha looked like she was always the, uh, always the uh, higher, was always able to think of herself as a higher up, but also, yeah, it's like, uh, you see a little bit of a different change of attitude with her, no doubt about it. And wait a minute, is this a turn Oh, there we go, we got it going. Ah, the wonderful cutscene glitches, folks. And right now we see Angie going after Olivia. I go, ooh, man. Yeah, I told, I told Angie and Asia to be careful. These two girls do not play. No, they don't. I'll tell you that much right now. I mean, Marissa Salt, don't forget she's been a uh, MS, I mean, a WCW Women's World Champion. Yeah, so some pretty good shout outs. I gotta admit that much right now. I'll give credit. Definitely. Yeah, I think uh, thanks to Jade, she, uh, you know what, she, I don't know, she has uh, let Angie and Asia wrestle in both WCW and MSW. She, she didn't kind of like cut it down and said one or the other. Well, anywhere you can flourish your skills, it's always great. No doubt about it. Anywhere. Marcus is saying that Maz saw the vision that I embraced and joined him, which was a great decision for her. It seems like it is because, well, that came off after winning the uh, Universal title back from uh, Sabrina Monaco. That's one thing I noticed about Tasha Maz. Nobody can ever beat her twice. She learns quickly, which makes her a very dangerous individual. I know Tasha Maz, I remember one time used to be the laughing stock. She was like the right, she, she came in as Raggedy Annie. 
and didn't know where she was at. And then all of a sudden, she came about using her own name, Natasha Mazlovich. And then uh, just showing it to Tasha Maz. And, and brushed up on her skill, which has made her really dangerous. Yeah, you gotta give it up to her. I'll tell you that much right now. Tasha Maz has become a heck of an athlete, no doubt about it. I look at Mercado showing off the uh, arms. She is a powerhouse. No doubt about it. Looks so deceiving. You don't think she looks like a powerhouse, but she has some natural strength. But she gets caught with a uh, fam famouser by Angie Watt. Oh, man, and Marissa gets back in there. Oh, shocking Asia. That's it. I got a feeling that is it. Oh! Ding, ding, ding. Out goes the lights for the saviors. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you're happy about that, aren't you, Patel? You damn right I am. Wow. They've been cooking. They've been cooking up a storm. Oh my gosh. Lovely. And there was the one that right there that did it. Marissa should never broke up that pin because. That was the shape of things to come. Oh my gosh. Now just because I can't be at Rings of the Mansion because I am doing commenting does not mean I'm going to be impartial. I'm sorry. I'll put it that way. Wow. What a win. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, you better believe, you bet your sweet butt it is. I'll tell you that much right now. Tony. Yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, man, Damian Priest, yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he's taking some damage to that back. As it looks like they said he's putting ice on it right now, basically. Not good. Coming up next, there you go right there, the eight-woman battle royal. And we got some newcomers in this one. Yeah, three of them. We got Vita Von Starr. We got Diana Prazo. And we got Miss Sleepy herself, Wendy Ch Chu. Yeah. Then, of course, along with Mandy Rose, Trisha Dora, Anastasia Irvine, Chelsea Green, and Miranda Alze. The winner of this match will get a future women's world title shot. Yeah, you are right about that. We forgot that Marcus is also a trainer in uh, WCW. That's the reason why he does not wrestle And in this area. And I can understand. You have a... Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Rumors was Deanna Proz who was going to come back. Yeah, she's looking to get back her ROH women's title that she claims she never lost. Tina Pams is that champion right now. But Tina Pams has a uh, matchup against Quinn McKay for the WCW Women's Championship. Yeah, today I'll tell you what, I mean, I was part of that group that decided that because I'm going to admit something right now. You cannot deny Tina Pam's uh, opportunity at that title because she's been on a roll as late. She's not only the ROH Women's Champion, but she also currently holds the TV title. And the thing about it is, if she wins that world title tonight from Quinn McKay, she's going to have to put that up on line and a battle royal vacate it. No doubt about it. I'll tell you that much right now. I mean, heck. But this should be interesting. Who you got your eyes on? I don't know. There's three tested. Uh, there's three untested individuals in here. We'll have to find out how they do. 
Yeah, Vita Von Starr, she hung around with Vincent and the uh and his group, uh, basically. And then of course uh, Vincent and Bateman and uh a guy known as Dutch, a big guy. Then you got Dina Prazo, uh who's been on a terror in the women's wrestling world as late ever since being uh unceremoniously uh taken out by uh Stanford. I'm talking about release, I should say. Batista was a uh, great world champion, no doubt about it. I'm trying to think if there's any, but oh, somebody went over. Oh, oh, Vito has went over. Yeah, I gotta say, Batista was a tough champion, no doubt about it. You want to you go in other areas, uh, I don't know, it's non-WCW, uh, non-WWE, uh, but I would say Rick Flo is up. You got to put Rick Flo up there also, basically. And another one that wasn't bad, you know, like I give it to Stinger. Yeah, no doubt about it, those are, yeah, but Batista, yeah, definitely can't argue with that. I think, uh, what's that? I think I heard the uh, producer for MSW, Vampiro, some, someone too, was saying that he unlocked Batista the other night on uh, on the showcase on the new 22 game. Yeah, definitely. I can't wait till we go into transition. Me neither. I know it's going to take a while because most of our talent is indie here, independent. Yeah. Between Batista and Rick, definitely. I'll tell you what, right now I gotta admit something right now because look at who Batista learned this stuff from, basically, is Rick. Rick Flair, no doubt about it. You couldn't have a better teacher. Hold on, Miles is coming, okay? Yeah, go ahead and take care of that, you know? Oh, and Wendy Chu takes out uh, Anastasia Irvine. Wow. Big elimination for uh, Wendy Chu. The slumber party queen, as you can tell. I'll tell you all right now, we got now, oh, and Miranda Alze is gone. So, so far, the new days, we got Perrazzo and Chu still in there. And look at Mandy Rose, she doesn't really need this tell show. She's got that Winner's Wish briefcase. And yet, you know what? I got, you know what, I hate to say it, I gotta admit, it's not a bad strategy, Tony. You're stacking your title shots, your opportunities. Good point, I guess you'd say that. That's like how Edge did it when he had the money in the bank and then he won that Gold Rush tournament. See, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, there you go. And uh, Wendy Chu and, oh, look at Wendy Chu escape. Oh man, and she bumped right in the door as the girl was running into her. Uh oh, Wendy Chu looking to take out Chelsea Green? Oh! Oh, good night, Mrs. Cardona. Well, we hear a little bit of the conversation, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, don't worry, we both know we'll be walking out as champions after Sunday. That's right, because Cass has got that opportunity against Birch this Sunday. And you know what, I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, hey, you know, he's got momentum going in that matchup. I've seen that matchup between with him and Evan Magnificent taking on Cass and Clayton. Oh, there was a good reason why uh, I think Jade paired them because Perch and Magnificent share a similar egotism about themselves. They, they got that self narcissism. I don't think those two are even getting, we're even, uh, we're even uh, basically 
cooperating that much. I hate to say. And right now, oh man, Mandy Rose putting the punches to uh, Wendy Chu. Oh boy, my, and the, uh, our computer screen goes to sleep again. Must be a Microsoft function. These boneheads. Wendy up to you with something that goes even greater. Oh, and Peraza goes over the top. Adora pulls the rope out from underneath her, and that's a veteran move. But you know what? No, the funny thing about it is, I gotta admit, I think uh, I think Peraza was more the veteran than Adora is. But she's still, you know what? If she was, shame on her. Oh, and here goes Mandy. Mandy Rose. Wow. It's down to uh, the. The Slumber Party Queen and Trisha Gore. Trisha Gore has been on a tear. She wants gold again. It's called what it is. But Wendy Chu, oh, she gets caught. She jumped right out of the door, and the door grabbed her and slammed her. Trisha Gore is one tough... She is one tough son of a guy. I guess, you know what? I know you know everybody makes a big uh, ruckus about Bianca Belair. I gotta give up to Trisha Gore. Oh, no doubt about it. It's not taking anything away from Bianca or Belair, but you know what? Don't sleep on Trisha Dora. And right now, Wendy Chu in trouble. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Wendy Chu turn it up on uh, Adora. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait a minute. She's going to win. Are you serious? Wow, that's a major win for Wendy Chu. Wow. I think she's going to celebrate with a Slurpee, I got a feeling. She's going to celebrate with a Slurpee and a nap. I seen her, I seen her, I seen her earlier in the day uh, sleeping on one of the prop boxes with a body pillow and her Slurpee next to her. And she had her eye mask on, too. <laughs> Wendy Chu. Might be the next cult phenomenon here in uh, WCW. Holy cow. I wish I would have added her as DLC. That would have been fun. That would be fun if they did. Yeah, DLC doesn't sound too bad for the, system, for the game, basically. 28, 28 different people from past and present. And everybody has a rightful reason to be in all in it. I'll tell you that much right now. It's called what it is. And right now, I guess Shockwave Wrestling has put up a new video. Doing one of my favorite all-time arcade classics, Fatal. What is that? Matt Mia Wrestling. Oh my gosh, I used to love, I used to love going to the days at the convenience store after school, putting quarters in that arcade. I'm going to have to check that out after this, is after I get done being here tonight. Ooh. Old school is the best school. Let's put it that way. 
Oh, no doubt about it. If it wasn't for old school, I don't think any of this stuff would be out here. And speaking of which, uh, who's out here? Tom Waller, the world champion. Hello, everybody. Ha <laughs> ha. It feels good to be a filthy world champion, no doubt about it. But I'll tell you what, I didn't like the, I didn't like, I, I didn't like the way that Johnny Winter won it. So I guess tonight we got this tag team match going on. It's gonna be me and Jared Kratos against Johnny Winter, and I guess his new love interest, L.A. Knight, and I'll call it what it is. Seems like these both these guys go for the glitz and glamour and they got full of arrogance, no doubt about it. Gosh, I thought I was arrogant. I think I'm I think I might be looking at the error of my ways after I had somebody come up and tell me that they like my uh they re they respected my skill. I, I don't know what's come over me, I'll tell you that much right now. But I'll tell you what. It should be a good one. I think me and JR is gonna take better care of business. Let's put it that way. There's no doubt about it. I'll call it what it is. And basically, uh, you know, tell you that much right now. I'm looking forward to it. I know I haven't been giving JR much time since I they put me in a singles uh, trial. Oh, who's coming out now? And Marcus is back right now as he says that he's back for that call was very as he said, it was very interesting after she told me about her training. You know, the way that Tasha Maz has been wrestling as way, I wouldn't doubt her training's been very intense, no doubt about it. She's got one of the best win-loss win records in the women's division over there. And there's... JR looks pissed. Yeah, he does. What the hell? This is not going to turn out to be good for Laura that far. You know something, Tommy boy? I was I was just in the back, and I I think I came to a decision. And I don't know, man. I don't think you're gonna like it at all. I'll tell you that much right now, Mr. World Champion. I'll tell you that much right now. You wanna know what it is? Jar, you gotta understand something, man. I thought we got this under control tonight. I thought we were gonna take care of business with LA Knight and uh, Johnny Winter, but what the heck, what's going on with you? What's with the smug attitude all of a sudden? What's with the, uh, what's going on here, JR? You know I, you know I try to pay attention, I, you know? You know I decided to cancel on you in this tag team match tonight. You can go find somebody else. I just said I'm going to make a reunion with someone else in the tag team division. You know what, Tom? You have been nothing but... You've been turning weak, okay? You've been turning weak. You know, now you're talking about you You like the respect for Marcus Cass. Good God Almighty. You are turning weak. Dude, I'm going to tell you what. He's the first person that actually gave me compliments. No doubt about it. Everybody's hating on me, hating on me. And you know what? All of a sudden he gave me a compliment and maybe I'm doing things the wrong way. Maybe I'm basically not playing filthy in the right way. You gotta understand that, JR. I understand it, but I'll tell you what, that's the reason I'm not gonna be out here with you. I don't feel like it. You know, basically, you always need someone to back you up. We'll see how far you go in this world title way without you, without any backup. Because you know what? You're lucky that Johnny Winter hit you with a chair shot last week. Because I got a feeling he would have been the winner. No doubt about it. Oh, you piece of work. Oh my gosh. After all we've been through, you know what? Hey, the teaming we've done, but see, you know what? Basically. Oh, what the hell, man? Are you not, I'm thrown off guard here. Holy cow. Oh. Oh, what the heck? And you decided to do this to me before my match? Last time I remember, I 
did not ever hold a tag team title with you. Last time I remember, it was somebody else I held the NWA title. Oh, my God. Oh, are you kidding me? Kratos just dropped Waller with a low blow. And oh man, here we go. We got Lawler going out with Kratos. And the shock from the fans. I don't think they need never seen this coming. I don't think they never did, Tony. No doubt about it. And right now, Lawler taking down Kratos there. And you see our other, you see our international broadcasting team over there. And we got the uh, two-step going around here, folks. Another one of those wonderful glitches. I want to see what goes on in 2K22, if it's going to be like that. Ah, uh, you're not kidding. I'll tell you that much right now. And look at Lawler going to work. And oh, wait a minute. Kratos, oh, Kratos with a big shot to the stomach. And he's got a big hammer fist. I'll tell you that much right now. Gotcha. I understand. Uh, okay, understand, Marcus. I can understand that. I think I, I think I've been, I've been in that uh, boat before. Believe me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. There's some things you don't want to say. And oh man, and Kratos just pounding away. Meanwhile, Kratos is pounding away on wall. Oh man. And right now, Kratos, Lawler going to try. Oh, and Kratos stops. Oh man. Oh, right in the. Right in the announcing table. Are you kidding me? That's just wrong. My gosh. That is just wrong. Well, let's get to our next matchup. We got... I guess uh, Max are coming down there to take care of Tom Waller. After all... Uh, who's Kratos talking about? Well, if you know me, I gotta go look in the history books to see who he held tag team title with. Well, come up, folks. We got our battle royal here. The winner is going to get a future world tell shot down the road. Richard Austin, Tommy Hiro Ishii, Matt Cardona, Alexander Hammerstone, Pop, Pope, I should say, Clark Connors, Davey Richards, and Dragon Lee. And Marcus is coming over there to tend to Tom because he is a trainer. He is a trainer over there. Davey Richards is coming over there as he's getting in a ring as he's checking on Tom too because he's a he's actually in real life a, para, a paramedic. So you got experienced people over here. It's pays to have experienced people working here. I know you're gonna be doing some partying tonight, aren't you, Fatal? Oh gosh, yeah. My girls are double champions. Holy cow. They only not hold the WCW tag team title, but they hold the MSW tag team title. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. And Lawler's getting up easy. And Lawler's always thinking about right now is that he needs to find a partner, he says now. It may turn into a handicap match. This is going to be messed up. Yeah. This is not going to look good for uh, Filthy Tom tonight. And right now, David Rich is getting clobbered. David Rich is getting back in the ring. He got him out of the clothesline. Oh, yeah. Mid-card Matt, as uh, people like calling him. But well, he, he was the NWA World Champion. Yeah. Until he got beat by Pope, who's also in his battle royal. Oh, look at that. Hammerstone falls right on Ishii. Ishi. The Stone Pit Bowl of Japan. Tommy, like, here is And Richard's going right in with Cardona. I think Richard's is pissed at Cardona because there was a rumor 
and uh, in the Federation, he's a champion. And there we're gonna have an NWA title match with him. And, uh, oh man, look at Ishii from Hammerstone. Wow, Hammerstone's a big boy with strength. I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah, the thing about it is that Richards was gonna get Telsha against Cardona, and Cardona wound up losing that title to the Pope. Richards is probably wondering if Cardona lost that title on purpose. No, the way that t how talented the Pope is, I wouldn't doubt that. I wouldn't doubt it's on purpose. And right now, Cardona go right to Richard Austin, the mysterious man in the red mask. Yeah, that's what he is, definitely, the mysterious man. Oh man, right now. Bodies are laying all over the place. Bodies are rolling all over the place. Connors is going to try to eliminate the NWA World Champion. Now here's a good question. If Pope would get eliminated, would that mean the NWA committee would consider the guy that eliminated the Pope to be a viable contender for the title? I would. That's, a, that's almost like a win over that guy, even though he wouldn't win the battle wall. And right now, I think I see the Mags pulling up uh, Tom Lawler, but Lawler's slowly getting up on his feet. Slowly, I say. And the Pope gets out of the uh, thing by Hammerstone. But I always say, when you're world champion, it's always lonely at the top sometimes. You have no friends, unfortunately. And in that case, Unless that Kratos has uh, told Lawler, screw you, and he, he told me in a big, brutal way. No doubt about it, Fatal. And right now, we got Hammerstone, and oh, what a beautiful. I wonder if that bounty's still on a Hammerstone in this Battle Royal that Holiday has offered $50,000 to the person that can put a beat down on Hammerstone. She just called us bad, but bad back Friday. I mean, Priest got hurt with a back injury, and now uh, Lawler may be uh, right on that list. And Austin, uh, Austin, and Connor's trying to get rid of Hammerstone. Richards taking the Pope over. You know, if Richards wants to end a little tall shot. No better way would be if he can eliminate the Pope from the Battle Royal. Indeed. And oh, Clark Connors goes over. Austin pulled the friggin' rope. Are you kidding me? Wow. Bad break. And Austin now take out Dragon Lee. Oh man, it's down to three. Richards is gone too. And oh, Pope takes out Hammerstone, wow. Oh, and look at Austin, oh. Good God, flatten the Pope with that. Wow. Oh, and there's that dancing knee drop, you wanna call it that. A knee drop with some theatrics. Right now, the Pope and and the fans are giving their support to the to uh, the Pope. That would be called D'Angelo De Niro or Elijah Burke. Uh, one name still stays out from there is the Pope. And here we go. The, oh, the Elijah experience. Oh, he nailed him. And I think we're seeing a splash of blood on the cam on the camera there. No doubt about. Oh. There's an elbow right in the face, and now, oh man, and the Pope stops. Shows you how skilled the Pope is, and right now, but he's in trouble with Austin. Oh, and Austin will win the toe shot. Wow. He gets a little toe shot down the road. 
Wow. Don't know when it's going to be. We'll have to find out what the schedule is going to be for the WCW World Champion. But Austin is a guy that guaranteed world title shot. Big win. He, I think, you know what? He needed that after the uh, couple last title opportunities he had that went down the tubes. Including that TV title shot where he, him and Christopher lost the, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. Oh, no doubt about it. All right, Marcus, would like a mic for a minute. We're going to give you one. Here you go, man. You got it. Coming up next, we got Silas Young against Christopher in a rematch for that hardcore championship. And this one should be a good one. The last real man against the so-called FBI agent. You know, his uh, duties are uh, nullified here, so he can't use them improperly in here in uh, WCW to anybody in trouble. And I mean, for like example, if Silas would beat him for the hardcore title, I bet you Christopher would have him arrested in a, in a New York minute. <laughs> and Marcus is saying there's one thing that Malcolm's Marvels have that gives us the advantage and that's Malcolm's vision as he's embraced it and he says look what has happened to me and the others they've been very successful and two examples I mean they they had their share of losses but they've been very successful I mean look at what happened recently you have Bomber win the TV title then you have Bomber and Onito win that tag team match and then of course you had Cass and Crichton win that main tag team match. Crichton's not a member. He was just a dream tag team partner for Marcus. Marcus, but no none of doubt no no doubt about it. They wrestle they wrestle like a well oiled unit. And I heard rumors that Malcolm has given Crichton and his sweetheart Melody a couple of round trip tickets to anywhere in the world for their uh, effort and a lot of spending money. Yeah, uh, that's the, I guess that's the way Malcolm works. Very generous, especially you do something for him. You do something for him to make himself and uh, his uh, clients look great. And no doubt about it, that's what he did. I mean, cast pin magnificent. Crichton did some damage, but you know what? Cast was it was equally impressive too. I mean, no doubt about it. And Marcus says, when we go to 2K22, we will make the fans embrace the vision. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. I'll tell you that much right now. If anybody's got the possibility, I mean, it seems like Marcus is wrestling a very confident game now. He doesn't have a tag team partner that drags him down. He basically doesn't have so-called pseudo-friends that uh, basically turn on him when... Uh, they, uh, they want to. I mean, basically, it's turned to an interesting situation. Malcolm Pengilly looks like a guy that actually cares about his uh, co uh, clients as long as you're doing right for him. And uh, that's what's been going on. And there's Agent Christopher at the hardcore title. Yeah, that's the thing about it. I'll tell you that much right now. I mean, it's going to be a big match up there, even though it's going to be run on the... I don't know. Maybe... Who knows? Might be a chance it might be run on 2K22 edition. Who knows? I mean, uh, could be a good chance. It's all dependent on if we can get everything done in a timely manner. Maybe we'll do that match in two. Maybe, we'll, what, we'll, maybe uh, from what I heard uh, from Vampiro, his plan would be that could be possibly he does everything in uh, 19... And maybe go with 22 for that matchup. I mean, if you got the pieces there already, you know what? It could be possible. Oh, no doubt about it. And Marcus says, I'm dating someone because of the vision I embraced. Seems like a very confident uh, dad. I mean, I'll tell you what. 
Maz, I'll tell you what, Maz has not been uh, really like her arrogant self. I gotta give, I gotta give credit. I'm actually shocked. And there is Salas Young, the last row man, the former hardcore champion, looking to get back that title. Can he do it tonight against somebody, somebody like uh, Mr. FBI agent? Yeah, that's a question. And the Penguins won their game. Coolness. And there is Christopher. Right there, folks. Giving the referee that hardcore title. Remember, it's still his, unfortunately, until he gets pinned one, two, three. Salah Young could be one of those guys that could do that. They, he's defeated big guys like Brody King and Jacob Batu. Oh, definitely, I won't put anything past the last round, man, Silas Young. And right now, Silas uh, jacking up the jaw of Christopher, and oh, man, DDT. Now, we must not forget, Christopher was a former MSW uh, world champion and former WCW world champion. Also, Tri-American champion, TV champion. So he's uh, done a lot in his career. Yeah, Mr. No Politics, as he is known in another area. I think uh, WTF, if I'm correct. No Politics is correct. You didn't start anything political, I'll tell you. It's like, it, this guy will stomp a mud hole and you and walk it dry. Yeah. Seen that happen before. Going for the pin real quick. But doesn't get it. And Sal is going off the ropes there and oh! Nasty boot to the face. Three great throws you watch before the Batman. Okay. Oh, nice. All right. And where is Salas going to now? Oh, he's got... Oh! Oh, man. Christopher got whacked not once, but twice with that sledgehammer. Oh, my gosh. Going for the pin. Odell Larson, veteran referee of the area. He's, uh, most recently in MSW, over here in WCW refereeing tonight. And look at Christopher Pound away. Doctor Strange 2, nice. Can't wait for that one. The multi, the multiverse of madness. I thought that was MSW. <laughs> Maybe it is. For that matter, it could be WCW after what we saw here tonight. Yeah. And Salas Young going right at the one. It's a, it's a chop-off contest. Why well, didn't say drop-off, I said chop-off. Oh man, and Christopher just dropped Salas Young with a series of martial arts kicks. No, Christopher, transporter you're not, okay? Going for the pin, and oh, Elvis, too, oh boy. Yeah, I forgot to make a, I forgot to get a movie out there when I'm uh, gonna have an Elvis, yeah. Oh! That was that nasty forearm shot by. Oh, man. He almost had it there, but Silas kicks out. You're not gonna put Silas down that easily. No doubt about it. You might have to give him another one of those before you get the first one. You're not kidding, Fatal. And 
And right now, oh, look at Cao Xiong escaping the head scissors. Oh, wait a minute, here we go. Oh, TKO. Fireman's carry Connor. That could be it. Oh, man, and Christopher kicked out. That was, that was so close. Yeah, Christopher doesn't really want to be known as a transitional champion now, does he? Uh, no. Wow, what about here? Still come, Tina Pams against Quinn McKay, and main event will be Johnny Winter and LA Knight taking on Tom Waller and whoever he can find as a partner in the back. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, over the top, Salas goes. Now, forget to skip Hills and Grandma's house. He just went over the top and down to the floor he went. And right now, the champion has it under firm control as uh, he's got the last real man down. And oh, nice. The return of MUOW on uh, 2K22, nice. Oh man, there's a punt kick to the face. Not exactly a punt kick, but it was a brutal kick to the face. Oh man, right there the arm. Oh gosh. And Christopher now going to work on side. Oh, man. Oh, those kicks. Going for the pin. You know what the thing that Vampiro told me? I am Vampiro 712 told me, I guess, uh, as I was talking to him a little bit, uh, he said that he's actually surprised the community creations is still up for 19. Yeah. Oh, wow. Olsen, huh? Olsen, there's the guy that gave me a lot of nightmares in uh, MLB uh, 21. That would be a pretty good bat to add to the lineup. I set it up again. This may be it. Oh, man. Salas Young gets tapped. Yeah, blue form shot. I don't know if he can survive two of those. And no, unfortunately not. Christopher is still the uh, hardcore champion. And oh, Silas Young just popped the referee. Well, it looks like uh, Mr. Young's going to be uh, working for free tonight. Wow. Unbelievable, folks. Coming up next, we got uh, we got that matchup coming up next. There you go, folks. Tina Pams against Quinn McKay for the world uh, for the title. Yeah, someone is not getting their pay. You are right about that. Yeah, Silas Young, yeah, there goes his pay for tonight. Such a shame. But you know, you know the rules. You can't put your hands on uh you can't put your hands on a referee. 
Let alone, you can't put your hands on a staff member either. And I'll tell you what, right now, I mean, this should be a good matchup. It was Quinn McKay who upset Tina Pams for the title, but now Tina Pams has an opportunity to basically get it back after showing uh, showing the uh, WCW staff what she is all about. Even though I wish I could get my hands on a ref. <laughs> and I, I think I know what you're talking about. That, that was that last uh, couple times that I guess in I guess your uh, situation in MSW referee. Gotcha. And I'll be back. I'm going to go facility. I'm going to go to the facilities and the refreshment stand real quick while this match gets started. Hurry back now. And we are back, folks. We got the WCW Women's Title Match here. Quinn McKay defend against Tina Pams. Yeah, everybody's just surprised about her uh, making it making it through Jay Call and Trisha Dora. Of course, Jay Call no longer here because she's gone back to uh, MSW now to take care of the ownership duties. Yeah, she has. No doubt about it. Like I said, I still don't understand what she, what she's doing at the Chris Bat. I really don't understand. Ah. 
Well, I heard the story about it. I think I heard correctly. It's because he uh, gave over general manager duties to uh, a certain someone that I guess fans and maybe people in the locker room did not like. Yeah, I did hear about that. To put it that way. And we'll keep at that because, yeah. Nonetheless, I mean, when is, when, it, when, it, when is the punishment enough already? I guess when she says it is, yeah, that's the unfortunate part. Oh, wait a minute, here we go, and oh, Tina Pam's Dennis Russ up here with the suplex. Now Queen McKay. And right now, McKay in trouble. The knee been dropped down to her back. Of course, everybody knows about the history of Tina Pam's already. She comes from a, a great wrestling lineage known as the Bennett family. Tina Pam, yeah, it's like a... Her brother is Mr. Amazing. Her, her other brother is Kyle Bennett. Her nephew is Matt Bennett. And right now, we see Quinn McKay going to work here on Tina. Oh, man. Quinn McKay, she's, you know what, once again, she likes playing the underdog. No doubt about it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that... That's what makes her thrive in this business. She likes playing the underdog. Yeah, definitely, Marcus. You have had your, uh, man, I'll tell you what. Yeah, it helped Tom Waller back to dressing room. We also had to help, uh, wow, Damien Priest. Yeah. Definitely, that would, that's been a very intense day for you. Oh, and Tina Pam's now, oh, and look at Quinn McKay just slailed her quickly, and oh, body scissors into a bulldog. That's right, now Pam's is in trouble. Oh boy, Pam's getting put in the corner. And right now, Tina Pam's shoving the champion away. Oh! And right now, Quinn McKay gets kicked away. Oh, and uh, Tina Pam sends her to the outside. And, uh, tell you what, this is... Kidding me, these girls are gonna go out to the back? No. Oh, they get back in. Yeah, definitely. Damien was outnumbered, no doubt about it. Yeah, by two giants in Carol and Odinson. And then Waller put a real uh Beat down uh, by a uh, guy, a real beat down by his former partner, Gerard Kratos. Oh, what a hell of a matchup between these two ladies. Oh no, here we go, slice bread. Oh, man. That may be it. No, gets out of it.
Oh boy, where's uh, Quinn McKay going to now? Oh man, poor Kawana. Nicely count, nicely uh, hooked. Now Tina Pan says I'm in trouble, has her in trouble in the Boston crowd. Oh man, oh look at that Queen McKay escapes it. And right now Tina Pan's may be in trouble. The underdog is having her way. Oh, here we go. Uh, almost a three, but... And now McKay getting a little frustrated. She needs to stay on her. Tina Pams will take advantage of it, no doubt about it. And rightfully so as a brethren. Tina Pam says the champ in trouble again. And oh man, cross body. Wow. Couldn't get it again. Are you kidding me? What a matchup between these two. They're having a heck of a fight here. Oh, this is just classic. Oh, look at Tina getting out of it. Uh-oh. Oh, man. German suplex off the top. And look at Tina embracing the fans here. She's pushing everything there. They're, she's embracing, embracing their moral support. No, oh, man. You know what the bad thing about it is? That was the bad part about Tina. She should have pinned uh, Queen while she had the chance. But instead, she... She decided uh, to go the, do the embracing, and then all of a sudden, uh, she, then she went for a pin, which gave Quinn enough time to uh, get out of that. You're right about that. And right now, oh, Quinn coming back here, the champ showing the signs of a uh, true champion. I got a net. McKay wins by count out. Oh man. You don't want to see one match like that, but I guess. Wow. Well, I guess Quinn McKay retains the title. Wow. Oh man. There's got to be a rematch between these two, I swear to goodness. There's got to be a rematch. Main event's coming up next. Question is, Tom Lawler able to wrestle and 
If he's so, the, who does he has a partner? Oh, are you kidding me? Lawler went in the back and got Carl Fredericks. Oh my gosh! I wonder what. I wonder how they came to that deal. Oh wow! These guys just be adversaries in uh, New Japan Strong. Now all of a sudden they're tagging here together in uh, at WCW. Are you kidding me? Wow! Wow. Ah, hello there, folks. Robbie Towers here with you again in uh, beautiful Bakers in uh, beautiful Fresno, California with Carl Fredericks. How did you come to the uh, agreement that you were going to take up with Tom Waller tonight? Well, I'll tell you what is really an interesting situation. I guess ever since Marcus has paid him respect for his skill and stuff like that, I guess Tom has had a liking. And he came over to me and asked if I want to be a tag team partner. In return, he says he would like to give me a title shot. He would give me a title shot in return no matter what happens tonight. Oh, really? Man. I'll tell you what, I mean, it should be interesting what you guys are going to do, and uh, then it's going to be interesting what, what you guys will do down the road in your title match. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I guess uh, Tom always had respect for my skill, I'll tell you that much right now. I mean, I know I took him to the in New Japan Strong, I didn't come up short, and I didn't come up on the short end, but I managed to beat Tom, me and Tom has split matches one to one. So, you know what? I guess Tom says uh, we can make this a uh, very important rubber match. Well, I'll put the title on the line against you. Well, there you go, folks. That's how Carl Fredericks and Tom Waller have come about to tag up against L.A. Knight and Johnny Winter. Back to you. This night's getting stranger and stranger by the men. I swear to goodness, Tony. It is. I'll tell you what. Wow. Yeah, wow, well, I'll tell you what. I would never expect that. But uh I guess uh I guess Cass had something to do with it too, I guess I heard. So interesting. Here we go, folks. Get ready for the main event right now. Here we go. And here comes Johnny Winter with his wife, uh, Taya Valkyrie. Yeah, these two have uh, gained titles everywhere they went. And I guess now uh, Johnny Winter wants to add the uh, WCW World title to his uh, thing. Well, there was a WCW World uh, 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 years ago, and uh, yeah, get this, Johnny's first name was Nitro after the uh, television on uh, Monday Night wrestling show on uh, Monday Night Show. 
Yeah, I did hear about that. I'll tell you that much. And now his partner, Allen Knight, I'm going to go. And now his partner, Allen Knight, and uh, we go use the facilities one more time before he comes up to the ring. <laughs> I guess Marcus says he's more like Johnny Moving Companies. Yeah, he is. I mean, I'll tell you what, seriously. And the nice thing about it is Carl doesn't have to cash in that Winner's Wish briefcase for a title shot. I mean, Lawler's give it to him. Yeah, Lawler's going to be giving it to him in return, basically. Tell you what, good. You know what? I can't wait to see that one. Next. I can't wait to see that one when that happens. No doubt about it. Yeah. Wow. There it is, folks. And there he is, folks, Tom Lawler, the WCW World Champion. And Marcus is going to be at ringside to watch uh, both Tom and Carl's back, I guess. Wow. go should be a good one and Frederick starting off against winter here I guess uh Frederick says he'd be glad to start off after uh you see what happened with uh Lawler earlier maybe find some something more, a little more time to recover Right there on the uh, giant winner. Wow. Not backing down one bit is uh Miss Fredericks. Oh man, no for serious question. Fredericks got out of it. <laughs> Marcus saying he can't next time uh, I guess uh, take it at a slow pace because he says that he couldn't keep up with them. <laughs> Carl is quick and agile, no doubt about it. I will agree with Bob. Oh, and LA Knight just pounds a. Uh, oh, man, not kicking out uh, loud. Just scoping it to uh, the world champion. And right now, 
Lawler taking it to LA Knight. And Fredericks now taking it to uh, LA Knight as he just gone. Oh man. Craig showing a little bit of aggression there. Uh, I, you know what? I think Knight's one of those guys could be choked out because he's a little outspoken and arrogant. Let's put it that way. Yeah, we'll call it like this. I mean, no doubt. There's no, yeah. Let's call it what it is. Oh, but LA Knight catches him at clothesline. What the heck? Oh man, the Fredericks and Lawler. Wow. What the heck happened there? I guess it's a disqualification. Tyler Valkyrie must have gotten involved in winner and Lawler, uh, I mean winner and uh, LA Knight disqualified. So the winner of the match is going to be Fredericks and Lawler. Wow. Unbelievable. Man. Can winner and uh, Valkyrie just lose fairly? Or even win fairly? I don't know. You got me, but uh, I got to say that is it for tonight. What's that classic on the line goes? What a dusty finish. <laughs> I heard about that. Wow. Well, I'd like to thank everybody here. Uh, Marcus Cass for being here. Uh, Robbie Towers. And, my, and of course, well, I'll take it over to tell. Yeah, and uh, definitely thank you, Tony, for being here as always. Thank you. I am Fatal, and hope to see you again next week. Take care and good night.